Hey everyone, Colin Shadwell back for another YouTube video. This time I'm changing everything up. I've got a brand new trailer on my YouTube channel that's very high quality, thanks to Ryan Rivard. And it's time to make some nice new quality videos. So in my uh, old videos, I would used to just jump right in and just show you how I make stuff on the wheel, sped up with some commentary on top, which I'm still gonna include in my videos, but now I thought, you know what? You need to see the whole process. So now I'm gonna start by showing you the finished piece, glazed and all, and then I'll go through about how I made it, changes I made, how I trimmed it, and then how I glazed it at the very end, and we'll talk about the glazes I use as well. So today, for this first video, I'm gonna show you this big bowl right here, this big green monstrosity that I made. This is a uh, giant, about seven inch high, about 12 inch wide, I guess, Salad bowl? I don't know. You could put lots of different things in here, I suppose. Fruit, bacon, whatever you're feeling. So this bowl is made with uh, my usual B-Mix, which is a great throwing clay, uh, Cone 5 B-Mix. So let's get right into me uh, actually making this bowl, and I'll come and talk to you at the end about how I finished it up. All right, so when getting ready for this product, I don't know how much clay I have here. I would guess somewhere around, I don't know, 10, 10 pounds of clay. It's a lot of clay to try to center at once. Um, I'm still getting used to my new GoPro camera, which has been a great tool for me to use. You can see I get a, a big wide angle. You can kind of see my whole uh, station and where I keep all my stuff. But uh, anyway, I, I was trying to do a live commentary with this, and the microphone and the GoPro is just not meant for live commentary. So I'm coming back to do my voiceover, which I like this anyway. I like to be able to see what I'm doing after the fact. And that way, if I screw up, I can always just edit it out anyway. So as you can see here, I've got this pretty well centered. I like to center my, my clay really high and then come back and squish it back down because I think it's just easier to center uh, a high, tall piece of clay as opposed to a short, squatty piece of clay. I'm diving down in and compressing the uh, bottom of the bowl here to kind of make sure it's not going to have any cracks later on. And then it's time for some pulls. So my first pull again is usually my palm pull. So I'm going to try to get my palm on the outside, fingers on the inside, and just kind of get the clay up into the piece. That's one of the tricks that I'm trying to teach my kids right now at school is about getting clay up into the piece early. That way you're not, your clay is not getting thin at the top, that you have nice, even, thick clay all the way through. And then you can start really doing these nice big long pulls. So now I'm going to use my thumb pull, so it's kind of like an upside down hand. Again, I find it easier to stand up when I do this. So using my thumb flipped up upside down, and now it's time to do some more finger pulls. So again, using all that slip that comes off the piece, you know, slip that collects on your wheel, I find it's always great to just use that slip to really come and help uh, kind of make sure that your hands don't stick as you're going up here. So, you know, I've kind of got uh, a lot of uh, this piece pulled up here. I've got a sponge in my hand too, just to kind of help facilitate that nice pulling. So I've got obviously a really nice tall high bowl. I always like to throw upward first, and then I use these rib tools. So this is one of my brand new rib tools, this big kidney bean shaped in this little green one. So I'm going to use the green one to just kind of smooth out all my finger lines on the outside because they're just easier to get to now. And then coming back with the big kidney bean rib tool. This guy is great. If you're ever looking to just make big bowls, you can't really go wrong with these big giant kidney bean tools. They're awesome. You know, they're, they just make it so easy to move the clay out, and it just makes it so smooth on the inside too. You can really move a lot of clay at once. So just coming in here and using this to really compress, stretch, taking it all the way to the rim. Make sure you always go all the way up and in, never stopping halfway. You can see it's got a little wobble to it, but as I stretch this guy up and all the way to the rim, that wobble just disappears again. So it really helps recenter your clay as well as compressing it, making it nice and strong. So off camera, I'm going to go make these little divots on the side here. I'm just going to pinch the clay in, which you'll see right here as I'm glazing. Uh, so I'm going to start glazing this guy up. So I'm, I'm at my school right now and I'm going to come through with these different colors here. So the first color I'm putting on uh, is going to go on the outside and the inside. It's called dark green, which is PC45. So I'm going to put three coats on the inside and two coats on the outside uh, because I'm not going to layer the inside. I'm just going to let it sit all the way through uh, with just the dark green and some little accents. And then on the outside, I'm going to do two coats of Art Deco green, which is PC48 to layer on top of it. And then I'm going to put some little PC20, which is blue rutile on these little like uh, divots on the inside to let them drip down so you can kind of see the color inside those. So you can see here on my thing that I've, you can see the, where the blue teal is dripping and I always make these little cards here that kind of show uh, everything I've put on the bowl. So that's how this bowl was made. You can see the blue rutile that dripped down in these little rivets here turn out really nicely. I love the way they drip down and match with the green here. The Art Deco just kind of lightens that dark green up just a little bit. You can kind of see 
the indentation of where the, the original Blue Green is and where the Art Deco is, and there's a little bit at the bottom. And I love how it highlights the chatter tool that I use on this as well. It really brings out that dark green line. So overall, it's a really cool piece. I really enjoyed making it, and I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. So stay tuned for more YouTube videos to come. I've got some great new pieces that I'm making with this new format. So I hope you enjoy it, and come back and watch some more. Thanks for watching.